Good morning, everyone. While well, we're waiting for everyone to get in and get settled, now's a good time to grab anything you need to get comfortable. Maybe that's a glass of water or a hot cup of tea or coffee. Also, if you have items at home and you would like to smudge with me, it's a good time to grab those items as well as we begin to ignite the healing within. Relatives, if you don't have smudge at home, that's okay. We'll send some cleansing, healing energy your way. Good morning, everyone. It's a new day. It's another sunrise, different moon, and another opportunity to start again. Aloha, kakahiaka, hello and good morning. My name is Malia and I'm a community healer here at the Her Wellness Institute. We are a nonprofit organization that focuses on the mental health and wellness of our relatives of Turtle Island, as well as other indigenous and underserved communities and also victims of crime. You can join us here every Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. We will always breathe, stretch, explore ways of integrating wellness and self-care into our daily lives and we will always honor our cultural traditions our customs and our ancestry and our strength and resilience so big mahalo thank you so much for joining us this morning i would like to take a moment to recognize our her wellness team institute uh, her Wellness Institute team members that are here with us. We have one of our um, counseling interns, Odessa Peter. Oda ah, I'm tongue tied this morning, Odessa Peters. And when you see the Her Wellness Institute commenting, that is Odessa as she is moderating this morning. Good morning, Odessa. And we also have our occupational therapist with us today as well, Claudia Meyer Smith. Good morning, Claudia. Pleasure as always to start the day with you both. And what an honor and blessing to be here with you and all of our relatives. Relatives, for those of you who are new, I want to let you know that you are welcome here. This is a safe place for you. This is a place where your insights, your comments, your questions, are absolutely welcome. We embrace it. We're so happy to see you. Teresa, good morning. Very good to see you. Teresa, thank you so much for being here. And for relatives who are new as well, in order to comment, all you have to do is like and follow the page. Uh, we do that to keep it safe from spam and other um, unpleasantries of the tech world. So um, once you do like and follow, it takes about 15 minutes for, um, for Facebook to recognize you and then you'll be able to comment. Let's do a check-in and see how everybody is doing today. How are you? Feel free to comment. We can take a moment to reflect together on how your day is. We can honor that wherever you are in your day. Maybe you're having a good day. Maybe it's a not so good day. And if you don't want to type in the comment box, that's okay too. We can take this moment right now. Maybe just to scan our thoughts, even our body, and see how we're feeling. Today, I am feeling absolutely excited. Um, I do have a, another, um, uh, another job that I have that I work at night. It's at a cultural arts center as well and we are um, today is the unveiling of one of our performance 
projects for next year, so I'm feeling really, really beyond excited about that. I could have slept longer, but I feel okay. I feel rested. Claudia says that she is doing good today. Claudia, I'm glad to hear. I think you and I are manning the fort today, um, so I look forward to seeing you as well. Thanks for sharing, Claudia. And for our relatives out there who aren't doing okay. If you're one of those people where today is not your day, maybe it's even been a week or longer where you're just like, mm. I want to remind you that it is okay not to be okay. If that's where you're at and that's how you feel, I want to say first of all, good on you for being able to recognize authentically where you're sitting and where you're at. Um, and we all have those days. So if you're not doing okay, that is okay. But I do want to encourage your relatives, if you're not doing all right, do reach out to somebody that you can talk to and somebody that you trust. Maybe it's a family member or a friend or even a colleague. Also, you can reach out to our CARES Warm Line, which is open every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can call or text. And you'll be connected with one of our CARES Warm counselors within 24 hours. Our CARES Warm counselors will listen to you with respect, with dignity. There is no stigma. You can call and talk about whatever is on your mind. Maybe you're worried or upset. Maybe you're feeling uncertain. And not only can our CARES counselors connect you or provide you with emotional support, but they can also connect you with resources that may be helpful for you. So no worries, guys. Relatives, if that's what you need, we're here for you. Not only can you see any of our amazing programs that we have going on this fall, many of which begin next week, check out our Facebook page. But you can come here every morning at 8 a.m. Monday through Friday, and together we can participate in healing each other. That's what our founder has coined and developed is community-activated medicine. And that means the people are the medicine. And it's such a powerful, um, such powerful medicine that often, because of the Western world that we live in, we sort of forget about how important that is. So right here, right now, relatives, together we are practicing moments of self-care, of wellness, of compassion, and that's good medicine. Good morning, Judy. I'm so happy to see you here. Are you looking forward to the book club, Judy? I am absolutely looking forward to it. We have our elders book club that starts um, next Tuesday as well. We're gearing up here at the Her Wellness Institute to deliver the packages this week and through the weekend and early next week. If you are an elder and you are interested in this book club, please do check out this Facebook page and you can find um, information on enrollment. Teresa says, good morning, Judy. So nice to see you. So weird not seeing you for Indian summer for two years now. <sighs> I miss Indian summer so much. I know that you do too. The international drum jam was one of my favorite things every year. And then the market and just, uh, I miss it so much. Before we get started in our breathing and stretch, I do want to share the tea that we that I have with me today. And I do want to say every week we're going to highlight a tea and an essential oil, which is a really awesome part about um, our reflections and resilience. So um, part of wellness and self-care, particularly for me, is integrating 
holistic and natural ways of treating ourselves to goodness, right? And so right now you can see what I have. This is a raspberry green tea. So the teas that we're highlighting um, this week are all green teas. So at the office here, we have this beautiful tea. Um, it's by Bonnie McKiernan. She is from Shawano. She is a, um, she is native. Here's her tea company. I cannot say it, relatives. I'm, my apologies. I wish I could pronounce this. I wish someone was here. One of our elders were here to tell me how to pronounce this. But this is her tea company. This is a raspberry flavored green tea. You can see the tea here. Green tea is an excellent, excellent way to practice self-care. It is caffeinated. I'll tell you a little bit about the benefits of green tea and then we'll get into our stretch. But first, let me give it a sip. So green tea has a really grassy flavor. Um, it's, it's bitter, but bitter in a way that I really like. Some people like to sweeten it up with cream or a little bit of honey or sugar. I always go to healthlighting.com for um, evidence-based benefits of anything that I share here with you. And some of the health benefits of green tea are really outstanding. Um, it includes things such as cancer prevention, benefits for a healthy heart, lowering cholesterol, um, help with, with um, a decreased stroke risk, it's excellent for type 2 diabetes and weight loss, and it's a great anti-inflammatory. Inflammatory. It's also really good for the skin and really, really good for um, improving memory. Um, it's just an overall really amazing tea. Like m many of the things that Mother Earth provides us with, there are so many outstanding benefits to green tea. It's also good for... Um, for digestion, it's good for the teeth if you have cavities or you want your mouth to be fresher. Green tea quite literally um, helps to fight against tooth decay, gum diseases. Um, it's really good for breath freshening, like I said. There are just um, so many amazing benefits of green tea. And as always, relatives, anytime that we are introducing anything into our self-care and wellness re regimen, particularly if we're putting it on our skin, we're ingesting it, whether eating it or drinking it, it's always, always very important to speak to a healthcare provider that you trust. Maybe that's your physician or a nurse, your doctor, whoever that may be. Um, do talk to them about these things, especially if you're taking medications. Sometimes these really amazing natural medicines for as great as they are if you have certain medications they can counteract them so um always make sure that um you know that you talk to your health care provider first but green tea i love it it's part of my routine in the morning only because the caffeine if i drink it in the afternoon will keep me up all night Teresa says, um, Bonnie teaches at the Menominee College and she harvests all goodies in the tea. I want to meet Bonnie one day. That sounds amazing. And yes, thank you so much, Teresa, for speaking on, on that about Bonnie. I know also the trees that, um, that Teresa, she really, really, um, promotes these teas, um, she actually, um, Teresa here, she actually picked up a bunch of teas for us. One of them was a spirit lifter, um, and there was a mango citrus. There's all sorts of excellent teas. And so thank you, Bonnie. Enjoying your tea. Let's get into some deep breathing. On our path and journey of self-care and wellness the beautiful thing is is that we have choice we get to choose what that path and journey looks like and one of the most direct and immediate ways to experience positive benefits for ourselves is deep breathing and relatives prior to what happened in March with COVID I didn't know how I felt about deep breathing 
And then we had an immense change in what's happening right now in our society. And a lot of things are different, right? And during that time is when these R&Rs, these 8 a.m. posts um, began. And that's when I started deep breathing. And the benefits that I've experienced through deep breathing are truly amazing. I now honestly and genuinely sleep through the whole night. This was something that I have not been able to do for years. Um, I now sleep through the whole night. Also, worry happens a lot less. What deep breathing does is it really begins to take our busy mind, which I think the Western world really um, caters to the mind, right? Or I don't know if it caters to the mind, but it creates an overactive mind. So we are balancing all the time. We have all these things going on. We have our work and we have to care for our families and or maybe our parents and our significant others and our, our children and grandchildren. And then we have our chores and we have our bills and we have all these things and it creates our mind to be very busy. And when we deep breathe, it begins to quell that. It brings us to our center and grounds us. What that allows us to do is be present and be in stillness. And we're, when we're in that stillness, it allows the soul the spirit to be present, which it always is there, but it quiets the mind so that we can be in that presence and be conscious. And it begins to allow the heart to speak. It slows our heart rate. It's really, really good for us. So let's go ahead. We're going to breathe in through the nose for a count of four. We're going to exhale through the mouth for a count of six. As we breathe in through the nose, the belly will expand. We're going to bring in healing energy, scanning the body for pain, discomfort, or thoughts that aren't serving us. When we exhale and release for the count of six, we're going to release any of the, that discomfort or energy that is not serving us. You can sit, lay, or recline however you like, relatives. I'm sitting crisscross. My hands are gently in my lap. You can close your eyes if you want to. And let's breathe. Deep inhale through the nose, scanning the body and the thoughts. And exhale. Deep inhale through the nose. And exhale. Deep inhale through the nose. And releasing. Let's continue to breathe as we roll those shoulders. Ah, feels good. Releasing any tension in our body that maybe we slept funny or maybe the stresses of daily life are causing us to tighten up. Let's release that deep inhale. Bring the arms out. You'll probably yawn here. across. Let's stretch that shoulder and upper back. Oh yeah, that feels good. Relatives, these are all guidelines. You know your body best. Listen to what your body is telling you. You can choose that stretch or movement that you need. Inhale and exhale, bringing the hand forward, pushing down on the fingertips, stretching the forearm and wrist. If you don't like that, you can just roll your wrist or choose another stretch. Clasping those fingers. Inhale. Exhale as we push up. Palms towards the ceiling. And gently bending from side to center. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, one more on each side. Alright, let's go ahead and push down with the opposite elbow. Stretching the tricep here. Other side. Let's go ahead and stretch the neck, looking from side to center, side to center. Let's tap the ear towards the shoulder, ear towards the shoulder, and rolling the chin from shoulder to shoulder, keeping it in the front, stretching the neck here. 
nice and gentle looking down towards our lap and up stretching the neck that feels good I'm sure I look silly <laughs> feels good though what are you gonna do today relatives to add to your list of self-care and wellness Right now, right here, we're practicing community-activated medicine. Maybe you had your elixir this morning. Maybe it was vitamins or a lemon water, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Um, we just stretched. We just deep breathed. That's a handful of things here. I want to share the moon phase that we're in before we get into our affirmations and our essential oil as well. Let me share this right away. Um, now the oil of the week, remember I said we'll highlight an oil of the week. This is deep blue. It's actually a blend of various different oils. This is doTERRA essential oil, but there are lots of good essential oils out there, but be very, very careful. Do your research on oils because Quite honestly, you only need 3% of the actual oil, essential oil in order for it to be considered a bottle of essential oil. Um, I know Young Living is another trusted brand out there. I'm not making, whether I share a tea or an oil or whatever products I'm sharing, I do not, I'm not getting sponsored. There's no like kickbacks I'm getting or anything like that. These are tried and true products that I truly enjoy and that I believe in. Um, if they work for you, great. If it's not for you, that's okay. That's the beauty of the diversity of who we are and our choice, our ability to choose. So there's two things I want to talk about with these, with the oil today. Um, deep blue is really kind of like um, a body rub that's good if you're feeling pain or tension. It helps if you're having cramps, like if you're going through your moon for women in, in the abdomen, um, the back, the lower back tummy if you have shoulder tension muscle aches even headaches neck pain this is what deep blue is for yesterday we featured the main ingredient in it which was wintergreen today i'll talk about the second ingredient in it which is camphor c-a-m-p-h-o-r now like wintergreen camphor is an excellent excellent essential oil which comes from actually um, the wood of a specific tree, a camphor tree, and it's excellent for the skin. So I want to talk a little bit about the benefits of camphor. And like I said, it's one of the many ingredients in this deep blue blend. Um, camphor, again, healthline.com is where I go because they have research-based articles that are written by nurses, um, a nutritionist or whatever they're speaking on, doctors, PhD, pharmacists, um, um, medical doctors, but they're always written by a medical professional and then reviewed by a medical professional. So that's why I like healthline.com. Camphor is excellent for the skin. It has antibacterial and antifungal properties. It's good for itchy skin. It's good for skin irritation. And I like to apply deep blue, like I said, on my tummy when I'm going through my moon or when I'm experiencing pains in that way. Um, it's an excellent for healing burns. It's really, really good for that. By the way, so is melaleuca or tea tree oil. It's also good for the treatment of arthritis. If you have arthritis pain, this is kind of like Icy Hot and Biofreeze. Um, those brands and also um, Deep Blue Rub through doTERRA um, kind of give that icy, hot, and cold sensation that really does help to relieve pain. And it does help with anti-inflammatory um, issues that you may be experiencing with arthritis. Also, the treatment of toenail fungus. So um, things like um, Vicks Vapor Rub, you can even use on your toenails and it can help with that. Um, if you apply it consistently for about 48 weeks, which is a long time, it'll actually have a positive effect. Um, and you can put it on your toes a couple times a day. So this would work well on that, um, for on your toes, on your, on your toenails, um, two, three times a day. It's also good for congestion and coughing. 
Um, it really helps with upper respiratory tract tract infections as well as night coughs um, or if, if you have children who are having sleeping difficulty because they're coughing all night long it's also antispasmodic so if your muscles are spazzing out if you're having back pain or w like I said with women if you're having your monthly cramps this is an excellent relaxant um, to put onto your tummy um, or your lower back um, there's also evidence that says that camphor is an excellent aid in hair loss, acne, warts, earaches, cold sores, hemorrhoids, heart symptoms, poor circulation, even flatulence, anxiety, depression, muscle spasms, and low libido. There definitely is also risks and precautions. As I said before, anytime you're taking something natural, you really do want to speak to a health professional first. Camphor typically goes onto the skin, so if you have sensitive skin, this is another thing to be careful of. Um, now when I'm using camphor, here's what I'm going to do. Yes, Teresa, try it on your back. I'm telling you, it is real good. Now, you can see all these beautiful deep blue colors here. That's because of the, there's no dyes in this. This is just from natural oils. But let me also show you... Um, remember, this isn't just camphor. It's a blend of wintergreen and camphor main, mainly, but there's other stuff. Now what I have here is a carrier oil. In this case, it's doTERRA's fractionated coconut oil. I'm going to combine the two and rub them together. I often have lower back pain, so I'm just going to rub this on my lower back. I would also be rubbing it on my um, abdomen and tummy. I'm just going to do that a little bit here. And then I'm going to add just a couple more drops of each. And I'm gonna put it around um, my neck. So I'm just gonna rub together like this. And if you can even put it on your temples, or right where your jaw is, if you hold tension in your jaw. And that's gonna give you a nice icy hot feeling. The coolness, I can already smell it. it smells very minty, it smells good and um, that's another another excellent way to add um, self-care and wellness into a pleasant part of your day. Teresa, yes. Um, I use the deep blue rub. This is the oil that we're featuring, but I have the rub at home, which is already the oil has been added to creams and it works wonders. It's excellent. Let's talk about culture as a way of wellness. And relatives, we always celebrate you. No matter what color of the rainbow, no matter what tribe, no matter what your geographic location you are, we honor who you are, and who you are is beautiful, amazing, unique, and diverse. So if you ever want to declare where you're from, who you are, your ancestry, you're more than welcome to put in the comment bo comments box. We will celebrate you. And I always share part of my ancestral teachings known as Kiala Okamahina, or the Native Hawaiian Lunar Calendar. Every day we're in a different lunar phase and this is a fantastic day because today we are in the first day of the lunar calendar according to my ancestral teachings. We're in the moon Hilo, which means twisted or braided. Have a good day too, Teresa. Yes, homeschool those girls. Teach in the next generation. Thank you, Teresa. Um, so we're in the moon of Hilo, which is means the twisted or braided moon. It's the first time we can actually see the moon. So yesterday you would not have seen the moon at all, right? There is no moon. It was the last day of the lunar cycle. Today you can barely see it. Maybe one or um, one or two percent of the moon you can see. Yes, Teresa, sisters, absolutely. Kristen, wonderful to see you. Good morning to see you. So happy you're here. Some of our warrior sisters are here. So the Gila moon that we're in today is the first time you're going to see the moon. It's the first moon of our 30-day moon cycle. Um, today isn't 
excellent, excellent. It's like an outstanding day for fishing. If you are a fisherman or woman, today's a day, go get it. Um, as far as for gardening and planting, it is an unproductive day. So um, seed planting, and now that we're in southeastern Wisconsin fall weather, um, generally for us here, um, we're, we're not really planting anyways, it's more harvest time. So, um, but wherever you are, um, in the, in, wherever you are um, on this earth, um, today would not be a productive planting day at least according to my ancestral teachings. So go out and get those fish if you are looking for that. Um, what that means for us, I always think, how does what's happening in nature and the natural systems and cycles, what is it that if we're not like fishermen or gardeners, what, how can we integrate that into our lives for our wellness? And for me, when you think of fishermen, a fisher person, they go out to the water, they, they, they use their, their skills and their teachings to obtain something for nourishment, right? So that's how I think of how to integrate that into our daily life today, is that if you are looking for some sort of outcome, if you're looking for positivity, if you're looking for um, whatever it is that you're, you're seeking, go get it. Go get it. Use your skill, use your teachings, integrate that into whatever it is that you're trying to obtain, that next step or that goal or that, that, um, that, um, that piece of nourishment that you need, fish for it. Before we go relatives, I wanna share two positive affirmations to leave you with for your day. Um, these are beautiful affirmations. Today is Native Wisdom for White Minds by Ann Wilson Shafe. We are in um, September 16th, Wednesday. Can you believe it? This year was just crazy strange. Today's excerpt is Our Mother Earth. We grow up knowing that the land is our mother. We know that there can be no monetary value for our mother. And this was written by Amari Kalmatua Elder. So Polynesian is like my, my cousins, cousins to the Hawaiians, actually the most closely related to the Hawaiians. We grow up knowing that the land is our mother. We know that there can be no monetary value for our mother. For Maori people, the earth is not symbolically our mother. The earth is our mother. And I know that's true for indigenous people, right? We come from the earth and to the earth we will return. The earth cares for us and gives us what we need for shelter, food, and life. The earth grounds us and gives us our connection with all of life as well as our identity. The earth gives us our place to stand. Our ancestors' bones return to the earth and feed the earth. And out of their bones, we grow our food. If we sell our mother, we get nothing in return. The money is only symbolic and will last for the blink of an eye, while our mother is with us forever. How can we sell our mother? How can we rape our mother? What do you think, relatives? As indigenous people, and that's why I always, when I talk about the moon phase, you know, there's things we can physically do. We can garden or fish, right? But then we also look to those systems and cycles to see what does that mean, not only on our physical plane, on our landscape, on our land space, but what does that mean in our spiritual plane? What does that mean in the language of the heart? What does that mean here? Kristen, I've heard you speak about the cycles 
um, and systems of, of, of nature. And it's really interesting here as um, a community um, advocate, and I, I work a lot with our relatives who have gone through some really hard things. And how when we connect to the landscape, and we can also understand the ways that our Western world exploits the land, it makes sense to me why we deal with a lot of difficulties that we do. So let's take a moment to honor Mother Earth and to honor our indigenous perspective, which is here to heal. All right. Meditations with Native American Elders, The Four Seasons by Elder Don Coyas. Again, September 16th. It's amazing these books are very coincided today. To me, the wisdom the elders have to manifest is in teaching people how to live in harmony and balance with each other and the earth. This is by Sun Bear Chippewa. You cannot give away what you don't have. You need to give away what you have in order to keep it. Our elders have lived their lives with a lot of trial and error. They have experienced how to do things good and they have experienced what didn't work for them as they grow old. They know things about living that we don't know. So through the years, the elders have gained wisdom they usually have a whole different point of view because of all of their experiences. There are two ways to learn. Someone tells us what they did and we do the same thing, or someone tells us what they did and we choose not to do it. Both of these paths will help us to live. My creator, teach me about choices and decisions and consequences. Put an elder in my life to guide me. As indigenous people, we can honor and celebrate the way in which we respect our elders. In Hawaii, we call those elders our kūpuna. Those are the people we look to for guidance. It makes me think of the grandfather teachings. It makes me think of Grandmother Moon. say mahalo nui loa. Thank you so much for joining us, us this morning, relatives. Malama pono ikokino. Take good care of your body. Righteous care. Aloha nui. Huge love to you all. Before we go, there is a community survey that's linked to this video. It's completely anonymous and asks just a few questions. Please take a moment to complete it. It literally takes like a minute, maybe less. And that survey is really to help us understand how best to serve you, our relatives. That is what we're here for. That is what we're passionate about. This is what we do together as we practice community activated medicine where you, me, you, everyone out here, we are part of that healing. Let us never underestimate the power of the human connection. Claudia says, my grandmother was my guide. Thanks, Claudia. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. We'll see you later. Bye, everyone. Aloha.